Hi, I'm Keely, also known as Kelly. And I'm Feely, also known as Alex. Welcome to our corner of the Shire, where we will show you how to bring Middle Earth into your daily life to keep you a, a happy, happy hobbit. hobbit. Look at this one! Wow, look at this one! <laughs> no, it's mine! Oh. It matches my shirt! Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sometimes I get sorry. sometimes I get a little uh, exuberant a little sometimes. I just it just really, you know, goes together and it does. <sighs> would make I a agree. great jack-o'-lantern. It would. But carving it would probably really hurt us since that dark wizard put that invisible spell on our bodies. Yeah. Wish that didn't happen, but at least you can eat still. That's true. You've got your liquid lembas now. Trusty liquid lembas. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it's nice. Probably keeps you going on those long, long journeys following Aragorn around. Yeah, you know, you gotta, gotta stay hydrated, stay nutrified out there. Yeah, yeah, stay, stay, stay strong. Stay, stay strong. Yeah. Just like Aragorn. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're strong too sometimes. Um, I think I'm gonna try to find a way to carve this still, so um, I'm just gonna go look around and wander and see if I see anyone. Okay. Yeah, so uh, um, it's good seeing you yeah, here in the, in I the mean, patch. Uh, yeah, I, I have things to do too. I, uh, you know, I heard Aragorn was uh, visiting the suburbs of Bree, so, uh, oh, you know. Oh, really? I thought I was gonna go visit him unannounced over there, so. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty busy too, actually. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And he's probably gonna go check out the haunted burrow, kind of be a little bit of a, a warden, making sure the hobbits don't get up to too much. Yep, that's what they say. <laughs> All right, well, um, bye. All right. Oh, that's, there's a gate over there. Uh, I knew, I knew this was here. <laughs> I was just, you know, it's just nice to, to hug things sometimes. Sometimes I wonder he remembers that Halloween kiss. I know what to do. I'm gonna go find Keely. She's never doing anything in porn and all that, all that writing stuff. So yeah, she should have time to help me do this. Just gotta go find her for more. And through the shadows, he pierced. Hey, Keely! <laughs> Boo! <sighs> it's the season. Now right. there's a big squiggle on my page. Yeah, Thanks. well, you're not doing anything important anyway. So, I was wondering, since this is gonna really kill me to uh, carve this baby, um, it's really cute. I was, yeah, so you're gonna carve it for me, actually, if you want to. Actually, you're just going to, no matter what. Um, I have a very specific design I'm going to have requests from you. Um, Do yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, that sounds that sounds great. That's your design. Yep, yeah, I'm going to get right no on objections. that. No objections? Going to get right on that. Okay. That stupid poem I was writing anyway. It was so cliched. Yeah, it actually it's... saved the world from some bad writing. Yeah, it actually sucks. That's why you should be doing this. Yeah. <sighs> Here you go. Mm. What? It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is, isn't it? I mean, I guess that one's nice. What, what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> write, a, write a story about chopping people up or something? <laughs> That's what weird writers do weird things like that. Um, okay, so rule number one, you don't carve a jack-o'-lantern from its butt! What are you doing? Keely! You're massacring my jack-o'-lantern! 
Who said this is gonna be a jack-o'-lantern? This is a mad writer at work. She's they say the best writers were insane. <laughs> or like severely depressed or something. I don't know about this anymore. I don't know if I'm safe. Now I don't think my pumpkin's safe or my other pumpkin. This is great. So, you really can do it this way? What's the, I don't, I just don't get it. I don't understand why you're chopping off his butt, but. There's a lot you don't understand, I, Feely. A lot about me, I dare say you don't even know. That's supposed to mean. Let's just say, this isn't gonna be an ordinary jack-lantern. Okay, I mean, that's, the, the, you're getting, ew, you got a seed on me. I'm trying to dramatically ah. dispose of this. This is what I meant. <laughs> Still got you. Time to get to work. What are you gonna do with all those seeds? I've heard you can toast them in the oven. Clean them up, toast them with some salt. We used to do that until like people didn't eat them all. I used to be the only one eating them for a long time. Our guinea pigs loved them. That's true. Except when they get stuck in their teeth, you gotta be careful. Yeah, you have to make sure. You have to be on hand to help pull them out of their teeth. I guess you're supposed to do it probably without the shell. I think that's what we did. Uh, it's been a while, I don't so think probably we don't listen shelled. to me. I don't think we shelled pumpkin seeds. They might've come prefab. I know, I think the ones in pet stores are different. They're like pepitos But something. you know, there's a lot of animals in the Shire and Middle Earth who do enjoy, um, if it is safe for them to eat, of course, this type of filling, you know? Or you could do like what happened to us one time. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, you want a whiff? I'm getting it. <sighs> smells like Halloween. Ah. So one time we put our jack-o'-lanterns out on the edge of the woods, basically for animals when they started rotting, where like the deer and stuff can come eat them. And they did. And it just so happened that where I put the jack-o'-lanterns um, was at the edge of, or the end of a water runoff trail. So come spring, some of the jack-o'-lanterns apparently had some seeds in them still. And it got watered all that time. And by the time spring came around, there was a little pumpkin plant growing there. And I was very excited, but unfortunately- That's a wise, weird story. It didn't keep getting watered and it died. I don't believe her. I've got photographic proof, so you don't have to believe me. Yeah, well, she's a writer and writers lie. I <laughs> we are, we are. We're all liars, we're professional liars. Yeah, exactly. That's why I One day I, I wrote a story about Feely and it was about how amazing her pumpkin's gonna turn out to be, how it's gonna win best in show at the party tree. I got a personal invite to that party, did you? Oh, you probably didn't because I went to Mitchell Delving last week and I made sure to bring the Sackvilles a big old pile of squash. A and pile of squash, this is yep, so appealing. Yeah. I might have stolen it from the farmer's backyard of old squash they were throwing out, but I didn't think she would notice the difference. She probably wouldn't. I mean, her last name is Sackville. It was a sack of squash, so you know. Are they from Sackville? Is there like a town called Sackville and that's where all sacks in the world come from? It's just a <laughs> bunch of hobbits enslaved just sewing sacks. And they hop around in potato sacks? Yeah, that's like- their That's why they have short legs! So they can fit inside the potato sack. Why are you yelling at me? Because you're not working fast enough. People. You guys, those you, you've seen our first Halloween special. So I don't have to narrate everything that I'm doing right now because you saw Feely teach you how to carve a pumpkin. And she was carving Back a pumpkin in the old days. into a hobble hole. That was before that dark wizard cursed you with an <laughs> That's invisible- true. That's true. An invisible illness spell. That's true. You know, you could really do a lot with this. Like, I feel like you could even just carve the top, um, make it into a nice little like figurine stand or something. Um, 
Do you yeah. have any guesses what I'm making? I can tell you one thing for sure. I am not making a fake edible Halloween Hobbit house like last year, what you did. I didn't do that, that was my friend. What do you mean that was your friend? Mr. Bone Man person. You don't have a friend named Mr. Bone Man person. Yeah, well he had a name and he had a skeleton face. So, you know. This sounds like one of your dreams. Whoa, it came out as a strip. So you're not gonna tell them how to carve it because that's already been done. Yeah, they can just watch that episode if they somehow don't know how. Though if you're from another country other than America and you didn't grow up doing this, you might not know how because what I discovered living in New Zealand was that any form of squash is referred to as a pumpkin. So when I wanted a pumpkin to make a homemade pumpkin pie, because that was my only option, um, I was directed towards a lot of different gourds. And I'm like a pumpkin, so I have to be like a pumpkin pumpkin, not just a pumpkin. Which made me feel like really unique. They they think they're not so into the whole pumpkin thing. Though I shouldn't say that because when I brought that pumpkin pie into Weta Workshop, it was devoured. Yeah, because pumpkin pie is the best. And they can't get it down What's there. What's your they favorite can, pie? Maybe they can now. My favorite pie. I wasn't talking to you. What? She likes apple pie. I think that might be my favorite. Then blackberry second? Yeah, it's hard to pick, but ever since I made that one with like, yeah. Mom's crust recipe. Yeah, that changed it. I didn't think I liked pump- or apple pie so much until I tried that. I thought you've always liked apple pie. I did, but not so much with the other crust. Okay. It just made me sick at Thanksgiving because I'd already eaten all this rich food, and then I'd eat that, and I'd be like, so then I got a negative association with it. Yeah, you had to get some conditioning. Yeah, the better so- crust to overcome this trauma. So for- Fourth of July homemade pie. So since you're not making this into a jack o' lantern like I asked, I don't know what she's doing, but obviously she's at least cleaning it out. Um, and, yeah, you uh, can't say that I'm not clean. Or that's not, not what they say in uh, over in Tukland. What? Because of my feet? Yeah, they they always say they can smell them from there. Yeah. They, All of Tukland smells yeah. like Hobbit foot. You really think that they can smell me out of that? Why do you think the Shire grows so many flowers to hide the smell of all the sweaty, hairy, bare feet? No, apparently everyone in the Shire, they tell me everything and they tell yeah, me- Yeah, you can speak for every yeah. single borough in the Shire. I can. You know, I'm actually a salesman there. Salesman? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> something like that. I, uh, this is so bizarre. Don't. Uh, yeah, that Last might be time bad. That happened, which was also around a Halloween episode. I ate some of my pumpkin and I threw it up later. <laughs> I just decided, why not? It's food. It's food. I can eat it. And I just took a bite and I was like, doesn't taste that great. And then I got nauseous. This is one of those sugar pumpkins for cooking. Yeah. So she's cleaning it out. So here. aren't you glad I. Oh no, that's not the one you were holding. I was going to say, no, aren't this. You glad I didn't cut it up. No. She's cleaning it out. She's gonna do something that better impress me. She's got high stakes here. What are you gonna give me if it does impress you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe some candy or some cookies. Or if you're good, maybe a Halloween movie with cookies and candy. Yeah? Maybe some Shire beer dyed orange. Ew. That sounds gross. Butter beer. Got to hike a while to get to the Hogwarts universe, but I could probably get some. Butter beer sounds a little better. Still I'm... smells good. Let's see. Looking more empty, watch you. Show them the work, the progress. Now, one of the tricks is, you know, you get out all the chunks, sometimes separate seed from but chunk. But you really could just keep going, so you have to call it quits at some point. Yeah, you scrape and scrape till it's got a nice clean inside, but... Because the, yeah. the, the less mushy part you have, the longer it will last. And you also want to keep it in the cold, like not in full sun, because then the bacteria will start growing. And the mold, I mean, will start growing. 
Okay, I'm gonna show them it in just a second. You know, this guy's got a real nice stem too. When you pick your pumpkin, you know, go for the one that speaks to you. It doesn't have to look perfect. Just Ooh, whatever one the in the patch that jumps out and calls your name. The wobbly ones are sometimes the best. The ones that look all knobby. For the people, the ones that people reject because they have scars and lumps. Cast aside at the bottom of the barrel. Back of the patch left to rot. Just like me. Yeah. If only you weren't a writer. I know. <laughs> if only I could write cute and cozy tales. Yeah. Where people aren't, you know, dying, getting haunted. Um, you know. Stuff that's fighting not, battles. Not good. As in boring, normal person books. I mean, I don't like your books. I don't like that part. Yeah, I don't know where all this animosity came from, but... <gasps> Do you want some? She's dead. Well, I guess I'll be able to eat all that candy. That's what we used to do when I'd eat cookie dough. When I'd eat raw cookie dough, you'd eat some too, so That's that if true. I went to the hospital, I'd have company. That's true. That's true. You know... <laughs> I didn't- Thank god we never had, like- Well, I don't even know if we would really end up in the hospital, you know, we'd probably just get a little sick. Oh no, you could- from salmonella- I mean, you, you can! can. Uh, you can, but I bet you it's more likely. Look at that! He's screaming! <laughs> it is, it's like a Stranger Things monster pumpkin. <laughs> Whoa, I just almost stepped on a knife. Yeah, right. that's a writer thing. <laughs> She's very anti-writers for being- Yeah, because she hung one herself. How dare you say that? It's all because you hostaged my pumpkin, all right? That giant, beautiful one is nothing compared to this. All right, you can still see the pumpkin. Looks great. You can't even tell. See, that's what it is. It's a prank. So someone, then you go put it back at the uh -huh. store. And someone goes, I want this one. Ah! Oh, mommy, daddy, help! <laughs> All right, so do you want my design for the face? Cause I have it. It's extremely detailed. The heck is that? Bilbo's acorn. Oh yeah. I don't know what you're up to. What did it ever do to you? Oh. Well, that's cool. Nothing really happened. Okay. Did Shadow steal that ball? Yeah. <laughs> it's said to use a rubber melon. We don't have one. Oh, I see it. She took it to the sun. You could toss it. That would have been really cool if I caught it. Yeah, it's all right. So you're supposed to have a rubber mallet, but if you don't, you might be able to take a really old tennis ball like this. Whoa. Cut them right These down. These are the a lot thicker than I thought. I don't want to cut myself. Yeah, I probably don't do this at home if you're a wee hobbitling who... This is an adult supervision yeah. part. This could be a little precarious. Oh. Oh! I just have to use a little more force. Oh, yeah! Whoa! Okay, okay, yeah! I like this rider now. Yeah, that's cool. Dude, no way! So what did you do so that they can know? I just hit a little harder. And it's a perfect acorn! Wow, writers are the best. They make the best pumpkins in the world and write the coolest stuff and they're great and no one talks about their smelly feet. Unless we talk about our smelly feet in our books. Yeah. There's an acorn, so I'm gonna put an oak leaf on either side of it. So, okay, I see that you're doing something different here than a usual carving. Um, 
what do you recommend for picking shapes? Um, you know, did you, and these are cookie cutters I see? Yes. Do you recommend um, specific shapes or just whatever calls to you? Whatever you want to do. Okay. And just give her a good old whirl here. Yes, and be willing to accept the fact that there's a chance your cookie cutter may never be the same again. Yeah, I suppose that's a good point. But we have a lot of cookie cutters. That is true. We make a lot of cookies. You come here as part of the Shire at Christmas. You don't come here to lose weight. Let me just put it that way. Yeah. Bomber spent a lot of Christmases here. Hooey! You know what I mean. Oh, yeah! Wow. That's so cool! I love it! Okay, that is so beautiful. You can have it. <gasps> Look at it, it's so perfect and orange. Oh, God! You've got to see it. Look how cute that is. Look how cute. I want to eat him. So, unfortunately, my leaves can't be perfectly symmetrical because I'd have to use the other side. This is really looking cool. Sorry for getting so upset. It's just, I want it in my way. Now but, I'm doing like a maple leaf. Okay. For Canadians. <laughs> the Canadians don't really sound like that, but they kind of do. Hey, you know. Now we're gonna get a bunch of Canadians in the comments being like, no, I don't, eh? <laughs> It's all right, you can say we sound like this. But we're or that we the... sound like this. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're not from the South. Like what? My bard does tell me I have a California accent. Of course he's lying, he has an accent. Yeah. This is so cool, and this is actually really easy. You just gotta have, you know, a little dwarf hammer on the side. Thorin would kill this craft. In fact, Thorin would bust the entire pumpkin. Ah! Oops. No patience. It's mine. No, I'll never forgive and I'll never forget the jack o' lantern that destroyed no. with one strike of my. What hammer. dwarf do you feel like would make the most fine tuned, detailed version of this with light little ding ding? Dory. Yes. He's obviously the refined one. Yes, Dory, I feel like Ori might too. And then Nori would just steal all their stuff though so they couldn't make it. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Wow. This is just working out, man. How is this a happy hobbit where you're just like, I have this idea then it just works? Don't curse it. Yeah, I shouldn't say that. Look at that, look at that. And it probably helps you got to make sure your cookie cutters have at least, you know, they're not sharp, sharp, but not like little dull plastic ones. Oh yeah, these are all metal. Metal, and you got to do the end that's the more sharp end, you know, without the thick kind of barrier where you can press your hand on it more safely. This is so cool. You this know, might be the last one. And if you wanted to make it even more dramatic, you know, you could probably like paint around it. Or... I tried to paint a pumpkin this year, but the paint just all chipped off. Well, what if you put fairy lights that are rainbow colored inside? Yeah, you can do that. And then threaded them through multiple pumpkins? That could be cool. In fact, if you did that, you wouldn't need to cut out the hole in the bottom, but I'll show you in a minute while why I cut a hole in the bottom. Yeah, for some weird reason that I still don't understand. I really like the shape. All that time hammering on my little like play school hammer set when I was a child is coming handy. Those were fun. You'd knock the little screws. Oh, that's a satisfying sound. The There's something so satisfying about tearing apart the inside of a pumpkin. So you know how I don't write nice and cozy stories? There's an unpublished short story I have where this one girl rips out another girl's heart because they're, they're epic. She's an epic warrior in a battle with like this female monster. And it's, I described it as sounding like the ripping out of a pumpkin in roots. She's weird. It's actually cool, but it's weird. There we go. It's beautiful! Wow! 
that turned out really nice. I've got to say. Well, now we just need to go somewhere dark and I'll show you the finished thing. Okay. I mean, all right. This weird idea you have. We'll see how it turns out. Yep. Okay. Uh, I got to take my cool little... Yeah, these are perfect for selling in the Shire door to door. Why are we going into the bathroom? Just because it's the darkest place. Even Mischief wants to see. Yeah. You want to okay. see this, this creation of mine, don't you? She's investigating it. So what you need is a candle, preferably in a holder. That's not, not by the fire. Piece. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're gonna do a little. Oh! It all makes sense now. Kill the lights. Whoa. Okay. This is pretty cool. I've gotta say. Chopping off his butt was the best decision you probably ever made. It usually is. <laughs> it usually is. Wow, that looks killer. I've got to say, I should really show this off. My work is beautiful. My idea is beautiful. I, I did such a great job. I'm so smart. I'm going to go tell Daggerlet all about it if I can find him. Wow, I did so good. Ah, mm. Well, it's come to my attention, given that we've already established Feely seems to know everything that's going on in the Shire. Apparently, there are certain hobbits, won't name names, who seem to think that I look exactly like the Crick Hollow Witch, which is ridiculous. You look nothing alike. But I'm going to use that resemblance to my advantage give Feely a little scare retaliation for the way she's been treating me lately. If I can even get this fastened. <sighs> Wait, how does it... No wonder she picks on me. There, no. There we go. Alright, it's not Halloween without being able to give someone a little gear every now and then <laughs> there she is what's she doing <laughs> eating pumpkin innards must be some new health craze well she'll have a different kind of craze when I'm done trying to lose weight so I wanted to run anyway. What are you talking about? The mask, eating the pumpkin innards. Ew, that sounds really gross. Yeah, it does. That's why you were doing it, to try to gross me out. I... Don't try to act like you've been sitting here for ages. Um, yeah, I've been taking selfies with my pumpkin. I can prove the timestamp. Well, on that note, we, from Keely and Feely, we hope you have a very, very happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Wait, all right, so yeah, oh, God, gonna go show this off. Yeah, Keely, don't hurt yourself. And whatever you do, don't go near the pumpkin innards. First prize is always worth it. What? 
Here you go. No. What? This is the one I picked. This is the one I pick if I'm carving. I mean, it is really nice looking. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's actually. I was mine. Yeah. Hmm. Wait now. Uh, yeah, go. Okay. Wait. Mine. I have to be. I have to be excited because I found it. Yeah. Right. <gasps> okay. Wait. If we're gonna have you be excited, maybe we should have you walk up. Okay. And grab it. Where do I do them? Um, you can walk over too, but Line. you're silent. Get over here. Is that coming this way? Sure. Okay. Action. <laughs> I actually saw it first. No, I, <laughs> Tackle, I actually, yeah, it's, it's actually mine. <laughs> okay. But you can look at it if you want. Yeah, that's it. It's a yeah. nice specimen. Yeah, it's really nice. I thought the color would match my shirt and my, my really nice pumpkin handmade earrings as well. It does. Okay, whenever I'm you're ready. I'm these ants' lives. Good. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Wow, look at this uh, one! Yeah. <laughs> what? No, that's actually mine. I saw this one. I, I, I saw this first. Uh, okay. I mean, you can hold it still if you want. But, but it's actually it's still mine. It matches your earrings. Really? Yeah. Where'd I you thought get it. Those? Well, a little shop called Hearth Songs might be owned by Keely. Is that she east does. of Rivendell? Hearth songs? The store location, yes, it's east of Rivendell. It's actually up very high in an old oak and you can't see it very well, but the orders ship very fast and very high quality stuff. Inspired by yeah. Is that the nature. one with uh, Warg Delivery? Yes, it is by Warg Delivery. There's a little bit of a slowdown now due to, you know, the given state of Middle Earth and Mordor's farts that are a little toxic. But, um, of course. but you know, the expediency is still very fast, despite that. And the beauty, I must say. <sighs> Take all those. Good girl. I can't tell if I look really crooked. Ugh. It's already recording. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I mean, it might be like, oh yeah, if it was. Oh yeah, the whole thing's crooked. Here, let me just stop. Like that. And then look at it again after you hit record. It's recording now. Oh, it yeah. is? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Should we do a quick? I wasn't gonna be able to see where your hand was. <laughs> what if we looked and it had it been recorded? I tried to double check for that reason. <laughs> no! Um. <laughs> Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh my goodness, hello. Hello, my baby bean. Hello. I love you, pumpkin. Hmm. I write really fast. I don't even have to look when I write. That's how we are writing songs. Yep, and look, it's actual words. That's true. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Oh wow. This is gonna go on the cover of a magazine. Oh my god. Keely Claire. Let me do a magazine. cutesy one. She's so cute. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I didn't all the <laughs> Shout out to her body. I said it was fun to bomb. Yeah, I said okay, bye. It was crazy. I said it was fun to bomb. It was crazy. Shut up. Little flippy outy. Yeah. Oh, shadow! No battery left. Woo, just perfect timing. Heck yeah! Chick, 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 chick.
don't know what to say.